Dropbox is a great service to use because it's free and it offers you two gigabytes of space for cloud-based internet storage for nothing, which is pretty nice. If you need more than two gigs, they have paid options, but two free gigs is not bad. Not as good as SkyDrive, which is 25 gigs for free, but SkyDrive to the best of my knowledge does not yet offer anything which is convenient or useful as Dropbox. There is Windows Live Mesh, but I'll save that for a video for another day. Anyway, even though Dropbox is really cool and really awesome, the problem with Dropbox is that you cannot ordinarily synchronize anything outside of the default Dropbox share folder. If you've ever installed Dropbox, what it does is that it puts a standard folder called My Dropbox under Documents or My Documents. You can get to it from Favorites, it, it uh, inserts a favorite link, or you can get to it from Documents and then My Dropbox, same thing. So what if you wanted to share something into here without actually having to click and drag it over? Well, you can do this using something in Windows Vista and 7 called Symbolic Links. If you symbolically link a folder, into the Dropbox folder, yes it will synchronize. The folder that I will use for the sake of example here will be videos and I have a Logitech webcam and I have four videos in there that I did. So these are the files that I want to symbolically, excuse me, this is the folder I want to symbolically link into Dropbox without actually having to copy it there or move any files and here's how it's done. Now the first thing we need to have is an administrator command prompt, meaning a command prompt with what's called elevated levels. The way to do this is by clicking the orb and then typing CMD. You'll see CMD appear. Right click that and left click run and excuse me, run as administrator. This will bring you an administrator command prompt. You need this in order to do this because if you don't have an administrator command prompt it will deny you access from doing it and we don't want that to happen. The command that we're going to use from the command prompt is called mklink with the flag D. So what this does is mklink is something in Vista in 7 that allows you to create symbolic links to files and folders. We're using the D flag so we can use it to symbolically link a directory. So now what we do is we first have to get the symbolic link location because the way that mklink works is that you use mklink with a D flag then you put in the intended symbolic link location and then the literal location to where the symbolic link is linking to. So we go to Dropbox and uh, the way to get a the easy way to get a literal path in the uh, Windows 7 environment is just to load it up in Windows Explorer and then click inside the address bar and it changes. You'll notice that when I click outside of it, it changes. When I click inside, it changes to the actual location. That's how you get the literal location. So I'm going to right click and copy that. And then I'm also going to add on the end of it the intended location. So I put this in quotes. You have to put each location in quotes because there are spaces uh, in the folder names. So I right click and paste, put a backslash on the end of this, and I will call, I'll just call it uh, videos. Okay, so this is the intended location. Right now in my Dropbox there is no videos folder because the symbolic link will create it for me. And now I need the literal location, so I go to videos and then Logitech webcam and I click inside to get the literal location, right click, left click copy, and quote, right click, paste, end quote. So now, just to recap, making a symbolic directory link, which will create the symbolically linked folder videos that points references, excuse me, that references to the literal location Logitech webcam under videos and enter. Symbolic link created. All right. So now if I go in the Dropbox, I should see a symbolically linked folder called videos and I do. And it even has the little arrow there. 
Now you may be confusing this for a shortcut. This is not a shortcut. This is different. This is the actual symbolic link. Shortcuts are different because they're just kind of pointers, so to speak. Uh, symbolic links are different because they, they're they much more literal in how they work with files. So anyway, when I go in here, there are the four videos. And um, down here, it's uploading the files right now. So it is synchronizing. Dropbox believes that I put these files into Dropbox, but I actually symbolically linked them. And that's cool. So, and if I wanted to delete this, uh, how do you remove a symbolic link? All you have to do is just right click and delete it. That's all you have to do to remove a symbolic link. So, whew, I know that's a lot to take in a single sitting because most Windows users are not familiar with symbolic links at all. In Linux and Unix, oh yes, you're probably very familiar with them because it uses them a lot. Windows, they didn't become really that usable until Vista and 7. Yes, you could do symbolic links in Windows 2000 and XP using a utility called Junction from Sysinternals, which works pretty much exactly the same way MKLink does, but you're better off just using Vista or 7 when you want to do symbolic links. Oh, one more thing. If I actually go to the literal location, so uh, users documents my Dropbox. You'll notice that uh, when you do a directory listing from a command prompt, the symbolically linked directory actually shows a sim link D instead of DIR. So you actually know where it's pointing to, and this one actually says in a bracket exactly where the uh, reference location is. So it's also very advantageous to use symbolic links if you do anything, and I mean anything, in the uh, command prompt. So anyway, that's it. Take it easy.